Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Mass Doc channel on YouTube. We have a really interesting problem here. We need to find a midpoint for the segment. The ending points of the segment is MK and coordinates are given. So let's draw a picture here and let's quickly figure out what's going on over here. Okay, pictures worth a thousand words. So three and minus five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so I have a one point here, that's M. Let's write it out, 3 minus 5, okay? The other one is at 4 and 6, so this is 6, 4 and 6, and this is a point K. So let's connect to the two point, okay? The midpoint formula says, look, if you want to find the midpoint P of X, Y, then X is equal to half adding the first two together, which is really 7 over 2. Y is equal to add the other one together, over 2, which is really half. Okay, so here's your point. Now, to understand why that is true, so on the test you can remember what to do, it's important to see why a midpoint is the way it is. Okay, It's really not that difficult once we figure it out and draw it out a little bit. Okay, The units between the two points on the y-axis here, you're going to subtract 6, subtract minus 5, which is 11. So delta y here is 11 points, and half of 11, because midpoint, right, half of 11 is equal to, let's just leave it at 11 over 2, okay. So what you need to do then to find a halfway point, you need to go halfway on the y, which really, how are you going to calculate that? Well, you're going to go 6 units downward or 5 units upward. It doesn't really matter because it's halfway. It doesn't matter how you start. So minus half, let's do 11 and a half. Okay, this gives you a half, which is the y value. Okay. So basically, the reason you add them together and divide it by 2 is, really, you calculate distance and you go halfway up or halfway down. It doesn't really matter, but the y value gives you its half. Okay, you're going to do the same thing for x value. Well, what's x value? What's the difference between x value? You went from 4 to 3, and half of that is really a half. Okay, And then you're going to do, so here's the midpoint. Halfway point, you're going to go from the m, go half the units over. So m is at 3 for x value. Okay, So x plus 3 plus a half, which gave you 7 over 2. Okay, that's where we calculated before as well. So, you know, the midway point, so the midpoint is really no uh, no mystery. We just calculate the distance. So on a test, you forget everything, all the formulas, no big deal. Draw those points out, figure out how far the y changed, go halfway, and then come down halfway. Figure out how far x changed, okay, go halfway, and then you will get the midpoint. Okay, so in our case here, P of x, y, let's write it one more time. So P of x, y is equal to, um, x is equal to 7 over 2, y is half. Okay, hope this helps. Have a confident day.